Hello everybody, I am SGF95Fighter from Central Gaming Studios and here I am presenting you a tutorial of how to do this. This technique for comping an animated character onto a live action plate with live action actors to mix well to simply look like the actor is interacting with the animated character is a technique that has been implemented in several films you have seen. This method helps actors on set to get a visual perspective on the character they're interacting with. Now if you were to render a clean plate like like my hands here for a sec. You're just hoping that my hands are in the right proportion and if I move around my hands are going to go I'm not going to say consistent unless you, otherwise you you can do that but you look very robotic. To get good natural feel a reference point is good to have so you can move around and your hands are staying in the exact same spot and that's going to help so much with comping it all together. Now, if you know how to make plushy, you could make a really simple plush of your character if you're going for a small character like Beat here. However, because I didn't know how to make a plushy, I made mine with a foam and armature wire skeletal structure and covered it with felt and placed tracker markers on it. So here is how I made mine. To start up, start making a basic shape out of foam. This is going to be the main component of how your character looks for an actor to see how it looks and get a basic idea on its size. When you have your foam, you're going to want to wrap the felt around it to find the points of the felt that needs to be cut and to wrap around the foam. To hold this guy up, get three lengths of armature wire and wrap them together to get the triple strength and then hot glue it to the body to hold him up in the basic skeletal shape. Then when you have the basic structure, wrap the rest of it in felt. Be sure to be resourceful as possible with your felt. Once the puppet is covered, you are done with the building process. Film your shot and bring him into Nuke. If your camera is on a tripod staying still, you only need to animate your character and bring him into Nuke when you're shot. Degrain your shot. Then set trackers on the tracker markers. Create a bake match move and assign that to your character to have it follow the trackers. And then when you have the time, roto paint out the rest of the puppet showing so you're only seeing the character in the actor's hands. Use roto for the fingers. Make some color corrections and any other touch up to your project and you are done. So there you have it. Any questions? 